I'm nervous to feed Sage. What if she doesn't like it? Why is everything so confusing? It is a gorgeous day today. I am wearing shorts. It's only 15 degrees Celsius, but basically summertime right now. <laughs> We're just having some yogurt granola bowls for breakfast. I'm gonna make one in a sec. But today is an exciting day because it's gonna be Sage's first food day. I got a bunch of stuff here. I'll show you guys in a sec of what I'm gonna cook up for her. So instead of just sharing one day of her first food, I thought it'd be fun to do a full week. Of all the yummy food you eat. You excited? You excited? Mommy's gonna make you so much food. Okay, so we got we got some sweet potatoes. We have bananas. Mmm. And we have avocado. Yeah. <gasps> you excited? So I think sweet potato is going to be her first food. I actually got two different kinds, a regular and a purple one. That will be fun. You're going to get so messy today, aren't you? So messy. I think after her next nap, I'm going to do the food. Because usually after a nap, she's very happy and I don't want to do it when she's tired and cranky and then have like a bad association with food right off the bat, you know? I'm also going to talk to you guys today about like things that I've been prepping myself with, like resources that have been really helpful, some of the stuff that I've bought into to help feed herself and like what method we're doing. So we're going to talk all about that. Ooh, she just burped. Yeah, we're going to talk all about that today. It's going to be a fun food week. You excited? You're licking your lips? You licking your lips? So we have been putting her in the high chair to start getting used to it, but just playing and stuff. Right? You see the camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we got some turnip, some kale. Okay, you eat your veggies, okay? Mommy's gonna make her breakfast. Mm -hmm. Baby's first food, turnip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that good? Yum, yum, yum. All right, so I just finished getting ready a little bit for the day. Seiji is napping peacefully, and it is time to make her lunch. I guess it's gonna be her lunch. She'll probably wake up around 11.30, and I'm gonna roast up some sweet potato. It's gonna be her first food. I'm so excited. She does have a little bit of a cold. She's like stuffy and has a little bit of a fever, but I think it's just from teething. So I gave her some homeopathic medicine just to help her with that. But I'm hoping it's not gonna affect how she tastes the food. I don't know, I've waited already long enough. I'm gonna roast these up. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. They're probably gonna roast for about an hour. So that's why I wanna get them in now while she's sleeping. So they'll be ready and nice and warm when she wakes up. We got the subject, the sweet potato. I guess I'm gonna do this one too. I'm using one of our health and shop reusable silicone baking mats. What do you think, Matt? She's gonna like sweet potato? Sure. <laughs> I'm definitely more excited about the food than Matt is. All right, I'm gonna give these a little rinse. Now we take, that was aggressive. Now we take the fork and we're just gonna stab it a few times. All right, I set that in the oven for one hour to cook so it can get nice and soft inside. And then I don't even think I'll really have to blend it up. We'll see. I think I'm gonna add some breast milk to it just to thin it out a little bit and then it'll pretty much be ready to go. And then I'm just gonna clean the containers I have to like store extra in the freezer. In terms of resources that I've been using, honestly, I knew nothing about feeding babies. So I've just been slowly researching and teaching myself. I feel like maybe I'm overthinking this. I just feel like there's so much 
to know and a little bit of pressure when it comes to feeding your little one like making sure you're setting themselves them up for like good eating habits down the road so they're not picky eaters so they eat healthy so they don't have like eating disorders like there's so much like to think about like the psychological side of eating even things like i've read saying you know when baby says like they're they're done not to continue to force feed them because like that can set themselves up for not listening to their hunger cues when they're older so like things that i never thought about but i'm thinking about now as a parent because i'm going to be shaping the way sage eats for the rest of her life that's a big responsibility so some of the books that I got that I've really been enjoying are, is this one called Raising a Healthy, sorry, Matt's working out and he's opening the, there's like so much music happening. Okay, so this book called Raising a Healthy Happy Eater has been a great resource. It was like highly rated on Amazon and it's more like the behavioral and psychological side of eating. So it says here, identify feeding problems, avoid picky eating, and expand your child's diet. So it's a stage-by-stage -stage guide to setting your child on the path to adventurous eating. This one is more of a practical manual guide for feeding your baby. So it talks about like the do's and don'ts, uh, different ways to feed your baby, as well as a ton of recipes. So I thought this one was a great one. The other thing I just started taking online is the course called Happy Healthy Eaters. It's super popular. They're big on Instagram, but they also are Canadian, which I loved. And I have been starting their course. They focus on baby led weaning, but they also talk a little bit about baby purees, if that's the route you wanna go with. I feel like there's so much pressure now to do baby led weaning, cause it's very trendy. Sage is just a small baby. And I don't know if it's cause she is breastfed, but she's like super strong and like lifting up and rolling around and everything. I just feel like I need to start her on purees. Like I think you need to like just trust your gut and I want to get her into feeding herself with baby led weaning style. But I think you do you. I want to do hybrid, but I think I want to start with purees a little bit. See how I feel with that while I do the course and then just kind of go from there. But I'll put, um, I have a code down below for the course. You guys can check it out. It's been highly recommended by so many people and I'm just starting it. So I'm really excited. They have a ton of recipes and their Instagram account is so informative. I follow them every single day. They post some really helpful things. Resources like this are really helpful because I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm just learning as I go. I'm like nervous. I'm nervous to feed Sage. What if she doesn't like it? sweet potato for lunch <laughs> oh yeah that's perfect the purple one done we're gonna let these cool for a second because they're very very hot and then I'm gonna grab the other things that I'm gonna need number one breast milk number two blender I actually bought a new one I just bought an immersion blender which I grew up having these in our house like my mom uses this all the time I don't know how I just bought one now, but they are great for soups, like just going in the soup and blending it without having to transfer it into a blender. And it's also really great for baby food. So I'm gonna be using that today to mash this up a little bit um, with breast milk. Do I need a mash up sweet potato? Maybe just a little, like not intense, you know, just a little bit. Also gonna need some breast milk to thin it out. I had some in a bottle that I pumped the other day, so we're gonna use that. And it's cold, so maybe it'll cool down the sweet potato. Ooh, hot. And then, ooh, hit steam. It's very hot, very hot. <laughs> I need to see the consistency. I'm not gonna kill you. Mmm, that's good sweet potato. Okay, we were good. Just. Lunch is almost ready. water, madame. Okay, we got your little utensils. 
Yeah, oh. I don't know how much she's actually gonna eat. <laughs> Sure, but like, <laughs> is it sour? Mmm. Um. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, make a mess. <laughs> uh oh. So day one, I think, was a success, although I think she's still unsure about food, but she didn't hate it. Okay, you've had enough. All right, let's clean it up. Oh, oh it's a mess. You're a mess. It's even on your pants. Oh, God. It is day two of Feeding Sage, and today's menu, we have some purple sweet potato. I thought I would stay within the sweet potato realm so we can make sure that it's a safe food for her, but also just switch it up a little bit and do a fun new color. And I just think purple food is cool. Is it? It looks like Play-Doh. Looks like fun food to play with. The only thing is the sweet potato was cold now, so I don't actually know how to warm up baby food. I'm gonna do a quick Google search. I didn't even think about it. I'm like, I guess she doesn't want it cold, so do you just heat it up on a pan? Do you put it in the baby bottle warmer? I don't know. So I'm gonna look that up quickly, and then we're gonna give Sage her second meal of the week. Never reheat cooked food more than once. That's kind of a rule that I do for us anyways. So after heating food up for your baby once, toss whatever goes uneaten, even if you didn't serve it. One way to successfully heat up food for your baby is to place the food in a heat-proof dish and sit the dish over a small pan of simmering water. You need to stir the food often to ensure that it is that it heats evenly. All right, I'm just going to heat it up until it's very hot and I'll let it cool while we're getting sage ready. Why is everything so confusing? If I was to ask my sister who has three kids, she would be like, we just heat it up like on the stove or in the microwave. They wouldn't feel like she wouldn't be like overthinking it like I am, but the internet makes things confusing sometimes. Okay, we're gonna heat it up in a pan. Okay, I'm not gonna heat all of it because she's not gonna eat this all in one sitting, so I'm gonna freeze the rest of it. And I'm gonna pop this guy in the freezer. I'm gonna put the rest of the breast milk as her water for today and put it in her little sippy cup, which is so cute. So we learned from yesterday, we have her in a diaper and a bib because it was a big cleanup of her clothes and we're gonna try and avoid that today. We have some mommy's milk and, wait, does it go that way or that, that way? And here you go. Use your fork. Okay, oh, it's already all over me. So I'm actually gonna use one of the eating spoons. Um, oh, Matt, look. <laughs> Whoa. Do you like it? No? Oh, she's unsure. She won't let me feed her. No? 
Oh, I think she's eating some of it. <laughs> it's good. Okay, you take that one too. Okay. So this is how it's going. Cheers. Want some? Want some milky? Um, nom, nom, nom. It's so good. The bib is definitely helpful because things are falling in the bib instead of all over the floor. <gasps> Some of it ends up in her mouth. I think it's a success. I don't really know. <laughs> they shouldn't seem to be loving it. <laughs> I know. But, but she's it's still playing with it. Ooh, it's expensive Play-Doh. So this is where we're at. She's definitely getting some in her mouth. She's just playing. We got things on the floor. But that's what it's all about, huh? She's happy. Well, that's all that matters. Oh, compliments to the chef. Thank you. Day two, complete. All right, it is day three of feeding Sage. Oh, gosh, she's getting up. She is currently still sleeping. She's been sleeping for a long time, so she should get up any minute now. So I thought I would start today's vlog. All right, I'm gonna go heat up our food. it into the saucepan. I have to say the utensils are a win. She loves them. <laughs> what do we think? She's liking it more and more. She's kind of like opening her mouth a little bit. Kind of getting interested. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna finish up. <laughs> All right, so we have some avocado puree with breast milk. Mmm, sagey. Okay, you got your, your fork, your spoon. So excited. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? <gasps> no. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, she's unsure. Okay, I'll preload it for you. Here you go. Put that in your mouth. No, the other way. Yeah. You did it. Oh, that was a big spoon. <laughs> you did it. Oh. So uh, it's getting a little messy. Both of us are messy. We're going to have a bath after this. But I think avocado, I don't know if it's a hit, but she's having fun, you know? So, YouTube. so messy. CG, <laughs> <laughs> like look at it. It's good for my skin. Avocado mask. 
Oh, look. Oh. oh. Yeah, you got it. Wow. That was a big bite. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. I think she likes avocado. I don't want to touch the cup. There you go. Mmm. It's slippery. <laughs> Hi, monkey. Hi, monkey. Are you ready for lunch? Are you ready for lunch soon? All right, so technically we skipped a day of food, which is fine. Uh, it's just yesterday we ended up going for a long hike and she ended up just like her nap schedule was off and just slept so much in the afternoon. So we just kind of thought, it's not the day for food but i update i finished the healthy happy eaters healthy happy eaters um online baby food course it is so good like i can't believe i didn't take one of those sooner or i thought i didn't need to guys if you are trying to navigate feeding your little ones take a course even if it's your second and you never have taken a course like this it was so valuable like I kept stop pausing it and telling Matt like what I've been learning and I knew nothing like I didn't even know why you technically start at six months like just so many things about nutrients about like I don't know there's just so much that I didn't know and it was such a helpful course this girl is literally moving you do it again Why are you kicking it with your feet? Good job, Siege. But yeah, I cannot believe I almost didn't take a course like that. It was so good. And I'm definitely gonna be like, there's some guides and stuff that you can print out. I'm gonna be printing that out. They actually taught me how to properly do baby food sign language. I thought I had them right, I did not. We now know new ones, like I think this one's milk. I think this one is water all done is like both hands and you flip them anyways i was totally doing it wrong so at least now i know i thought it was just so like your baby could communicate with you at a younger age but it actually does so much more than that like teaching them baby sign language it's not baby sign language it's sign language but i'm teaching my baby yeah oh you're pulling yourself up you're pulling... whoa you're so strong you're so strong girl wow this little girl is not so little anymore. She's crazy. She's gonna be crawling any day now, I think. So we're doing avocado again today. And after doing some research, I realized like you don't have to separate the foods if they're not allergen foods, but I'm doing it anyways, just for the first like week or so. And then I'll start mixing in foods together, like avocado with banana or adding in like spinach and things like that. Yo, Matt. Yo. But so far it's been going really good. Another thing I've learned is mess is good. Babies learning to eat are gonna make a mess and that's just the part of the process. All right, so I did some Googling and it says that you can just heat up the avocado, like thaw it in the fridge in an airtight container overnight, which we did, and then just place it in a bowl with some hot water and just mix it up. Whoa! Right in the mouth! Wow, that's good, Sage. So you can preload their spoon so they can feed themselves. Good job, Sage. And then they can feed themselves, see? Oh, that was a lot in there. Big chunk, you got a big chunk on you. So good. I think avocado is a winner. Wow, you do so good. There you go, Sage. And take that one. In the mouth. Good girl. Mm. You want some more? You want some more food? Oh, I just got on my mouth. <laughs> We're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, come on and board my rocket ship. So we're learning how to control the mess here. It's easier, I find, if you clean them up a little bit in the high chair, and we just have a bowl of warm water and a washcloth. Whoa, let's clean up this face. Whoa, oh, I know. I know, I'm almost done. Not like that. Welcome back to 
day six of feeding CG foods. So today is another avocado day, but I'm gonna start prepping some other types of foods for next week. So I thought I would share a little bit about that now. I have some broccoli and carrot. I also have cauliflower, but I think I'm gonna do broccoli and carrot today and just go ahead and prep that and freeze it so it's ready to go next week. And then I can blend it with say the sweet potato or the avocado or banana and do different mixtures. All right, I got all these organic, Ooh, that'll be for cashew carrots and some really lovely organic broccoli that needs to be used i think i'm gonna actually roast this the baby food book i have that talks about root vegetable purees it says it if you roast it as opposed to just steaming it it's gonna be more flavor which totally makes sense so i'm gonna roast it because then i'm gonna puree it anyway so i don't have to worry about like crispy bits and stuff and i have a ton of them So I'm just gonna spread them out on a silicone baking mat. This is the one from our shop. It's great, it's reusable, it's dishwasher safe. And then I just cut off the ends, which I can even give to Cashew with some treats. And I'm gonna do the broccoli. All right, so the broccoli I'm gonna steam and the carrots I'm gonna roast with nothing on them, but eventually I can do a little bit of oil, like coconut oil, and maybe some spices like cinnamon or ginger, I think would be yummy. Broccoli looks good, fork tender. I'm just gonna turn off the heat and then let it cool. All right, carrots are done. I actually ended up doing a steam roast technique I got from the Healthy Happy Eaters baby food course. And it definitely helped because I felt like with no oil, some of them were getting a little charred just roasting it with nothing, but the water, like the steam and the foil helped cook them, make them soft, but still give them that like roasted flavor. the carrots and the broccoli puree. I'm just gonna pop the lid on and pop these into the freezer. All right, today's menu, avocado again. Okay, here you go. Oh, it's like she knows what to do now. Unfortunately, wow. likes to chew on it. No, she, right in the mouth. What do we think? Oh, this is nice. Is that yummy? Get that other one. Here you go. Oh, she went for it though. What does that taste like? Guacamole with milk? Whoa. Whoa, see? Oh, is that a lot? Yeah, you taste so good. <laughs> Yummy? Not recommend a little bowl with warm water wipe them all down just give them a good wipe I feel like we're learning each time to make this process a little bit easier Wow so clean all right it is officially the day you've been looking forward to all week it's the last day we're doing fruit I'm very excited saving the best for last. We are doing some banana. Got some nice spotty banana I showed earlier this week. I ate some and now Sage is gonna eat some. I'm so excited. I hope she's like, mmm, more. She's looking at me like, what are you doing, mom? Look at this. <laughs> so this is gonna be really easy preparation. I'm literally just gonna mash up some banana, add a little bit of breast milk. I'm not gonna warm it. Do I have to warm it up? Do you, I think I'm just gonna give it to her. Like, I don't think you have to warm it up. Okay, I'm gonna Google. <laughs> this whole week is like one sec, I'm gonna Google.
Got your utensils. Can Matt top it in? I need my phone. I need my phone. Okay. Let's see what you think of that. Is that good? <laughs> it's like anticlimactic. She's like, I don't exactly. know about this. One more. Oh, right in the mouth. She's like, okay, okay. I can get on board with this. She looks, she's double fisting. It's so good. Cashew's like, that looks delicious. Oh. <gasps> um, um, it's so good. Um, um, um. More food? Let's just put the whole thing on there. Why not? Ah, uh, oh, yes, you went for it. Um, 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 um. Some more. Oh, is that good? Okay, we're gonna wrap up our first week of food. <laughs> also, look at her outfit. It's so cute. It's so summery, huh? So I think banana was a hit. She definitely got very sticky afterwards. So I just wanted to do a little recap wrap up from this week. I feel like I learned so much. Like in the beginning of the week, I was really uncertain about the whole process. I didn't feel confident at all. And I'm really happy I waited the extra week. I was gonna start the other week and then I just didn't feel prepared. And I know some people are like, don't overthink it, just go into it. But honestly, getting the books, reading them, Taking the online baby food course gave me so much knowledge as a new mom going through this for the first time that I'm so happy I, I now know that. There's so many things besides just like picking what food you're gonna give them that's really important to know, like the behavioral things, safety things, and because this is like my, I even think if this isn't your first time, there's probably so many things that you don't know. And it's just always good to have a refresher and educate yourself. And even if you don't follow everything exactly as the book you're reading says, just getting different information from different resources and then forming your own opinion and way of doing things that you feel comfortable with, I think is important. Like for me, I really want to do baby led weaning, but I just felt like she wasn't ready yet to fully dive into more like solid, bigger pieces of food. And so right now we're kind of doing a hybrid. You want to talk? How did your first week of go, huh? You still got banana on your, on your cheeks. I don't know where I left off, but I wanted to do just kind of my own version of a hybrid. I've talked to a lot of moms and they've kind of done a little bit of a mix. So this week we're doing purees and then next week we'll probably do purees, but start mixing foods because we'll do the broccoli and the carrots that I prepped this week. And then I'll start introducing more baby led weaning style uh, foods once I once Sage gets comfortable with eating and I get comfortable learning how to feed her. And I'm really happy, like I said, that I learned more about baby led weaning and there definitely is a middle ground. Don't feel like you have to go full out, full on into it and feel uncomfortable and scared. Um, now that I know what I know, I can, I feel way more comfortable giving her like baby led weaning foods. I just want to slowly ease into it. So if you guys want to see a video about that, let me know. But I feel like this was kind of it because like I said, she was feeding herself mostly with the utensils and really preferred that than me spoon feeding her. So I'm going to link the resources that I used down below for you guys in the info box. Make sure you check that out. If you guys want to see more baby food uh, videos, whether just like updates and vlogs and stuff, let me know as well in the comments down below. And I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm hoping that if you're a new parent navigating this for the first time, that this video is helpful to you. Cause like I said, I just felt so lost and I thought I'm just gonna document my own journey and hopefully it'll help some other mamas and dadas out there navigate themselves and their little ones. This girl's hungry, man. Even after the banana, she wants her milk. All right, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs this video up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next vlog or video. Bye.